boy was born to be hung. I've never been so shocked in all my days. Oh, hush, Mr. B. You've had yourself quite a turn, and I fancy you might enjoy a little drop of something special. Ooh, what is it? Why, it's what I'm obliged to keep a little one in the house, to put into the blessed infant's medicine, when they ain't feeling so well, and now I'm on to see you, Mr. B. It's Jim. <laughs> You are a humane woman, Mrs. Corby, and it's nice to be appreciated. These poppers in this here parish, they don't appreciate me. While we have given away no less than 20 loaves and a cheese and a half this very afternoon, and still their poppers is not contented. Oh, of course they're not. Why would they be? Um, sweet, Mr. Bumble? Very sweet indeed, Mrs. Corby. Um, oh, bless you! You still keep a cat, madam? Oh, yes, and kittens oh. as well. Oh, they are quite the companions for me. They're so happy, so cheerful, so frolicsome. <laughs> Delightful creatures they are. <laughs> so very domestic. Oh, yes, and so very fond of their own as well. It's um, really quite a pleasure, I'd imagine. Well, I must say, Mrs. Courtney, any cat, or kitten for that matter, who could live with you and not be fond of its home must be an idiot and not deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bumble! It's no use disguising facts, madam. An idiot. <coughs> I would drown it myself with pleasure. Oh, then you're a cruel man! And a very hard hearted man besides! Ooh, hard hearted? Mrs. Courtney. Hard? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Corby? What do you mean? A very curious question to be coming from a single man. What can you want to know for, Mr. B? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Bumble, I shall scream! <laughs> If your hand is close, I'll press it. Yes, you'd like it. Come confess it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do.
when we come to an agreement, as my loving dove is chubby, would she love a chubby hobby? Thank <laughs> you. 